Hi, everybody. It's Spin Tunnel. First race report of 2022. I am Brandon. These are my colleagues. Hello. What's up, Chris? Chris? Hello. What's up, Adrian? Vito, where you at? Hi. Up. Say something to the people. There you are. Yeah, I'm here. All right. Uh, we're just going to kind of talk along here and get everybody welcome in. Uh, do a little audio check while we get everything set in stone. Uh, first and foremost, what'd y'all think? Did y'all enjoy the clash at the Coliseum? I, I thought it was really fun. I had a really fun watching that. Adrian, so many think? people were wrong. They said this thing was going to be a clusterfuck. They said it was going to be a shit show. They said it was going to be bad, and it was great. It was very fun. I had a really I, good I time agree. watching it. I mean, I had a good time watching it, too. Uh, it was very... <laughs> it's a tight little track, but, you know, they pulled it off. Pretty good show. Mm-hmm. Vito, what'd you think? It was a uh, race. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I don't, I don't have very much. many thoughts. I don't yeah. have very many thoughts. I'm kind of on am... more on Vito's side. Like, I, I mean, it was fun, and I had a great time, but I didn't get to watch, like, or follow it as much as I wanted to, so I'm not really going to, like, overstate my view on it but from what i yeah. watched i did watch the main and i did enjoy what i saw i thought it was fun i thought it was something different something to enjoy and i had a good time so how do we how do we sound on audio Vito? we good sorry we're all good on audio okay, cool. i am very glad it was the clash because i i don't think with more cars it would have been there's no way this would have worked as a point race yeah, yeah I, it is a good clash race the only way it would have worked as a point race is if you had like heats and like and like sort of like what they've done in el Doro with the truck series yeah about it yeah but um, even at el Doro, they still started about 36 trucks because el Doro is a three eighths mile five eighths mile i don't know no it's not that long anyway that's besides the point the point was is el Doro is bigger and wider it's considerably yeah. wider <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And, uh, a half mile this away. little football stadium we had. But, granted, I had a good time watching it. Um, so, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. The winner, Joey Logano. I, before we get into this, <laughs> remember on the playoffs, <laughs> or not the playoffs, remember on the winner <laughs> prediction day stream, the last stream we did, and I was like, I was we're going to go to Atlanta, and it's going to be exciting and new and awesome, and everybody's going to have a great time and be so hype, and then, like, Joey Logano's going to win, and everybody's going to be like, well, that was boring, because Joey Logano won. Hey. Did that not just <laughs> yeah, happen? Yeah. Did that not just yeah, happen? Yeah. Am I, am I, am I yeah. not a prophet here? It's yeah, just it like, so it's like, this is so fun. Oh, Joey Logano won. All right. Hey, everybody, well, it was a good time, you know? <laughs> it's Joey Logano. It's a bit of a pattern, though. With, but hey, uh, props to him. They pulled that off. That was all on them. Good job, Joey Last Logano. two times the uh, Cup Series has gone into sort of untreaded waters. Joey Logano won both of them. Obviously, Bristol Dirt last year. And now this f- football stadium, the LA Coliseum, Joey Logano got that one as well. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. If NASCAR ever races jet skis at Daytona in the lake, I got Joey Logano. My I yeah. Can hear it here first. Anyway. You can um, shout out to us for being dead wrong about Martin Truex. Yeah, man. We yeah. all. I think we just about. Did we pick Martin Truex across the board? Yeah, yeah we picked Truex Okay, yeah. Board. So we go Truex across the board, and that guy runs about one step above abysmal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't know what was going on there. Um, there was a lot of ups and downs though. Like there was some wacky stuff going on, like out, like outside of the race alone. Like we had Tyler Reddick, who was dominating the beginning of this race, just like snap a transaxle on the pace laps under caution. <laughs> yeah, which was very odd. Out. Um, the Chevys took their hood vents out because they were overheating. The Toyotas were overheating. I think they also didn't have vents. The Fords were running their vents still though. Um, I know the eleven over. And that's why he was done. Yeah, the 11 part because he overheated, but the Toyotas were struggling. I mean, they, we just had a lot of overheating. Technical Gremlins with the next gen car. We've never raced them yet. This is our first yeah, time I mean, actually putting the them up time. against each other in like legitimate competition. And, oh, yeah. You know, we saw it's... a lot of ups and downs. I can say these cars look tough, man. These guys were slamming each other in the corners. Yeah. And I mean, that, that, besides a dent here or there, those things look pretty stout. I mean, Logano killed Kyle Bush right before the break. And just knocked him out of the way, and he barely had a scratch. So, yeah. you know, yeah. granted, we are going about good. forty miles an hour in the corner, but you know, I'm Speaking excited. Of, uh, All I can say is I'm excited for Martinsville 
after watching yeah. this. I'm excited to watch Pretty this good. kind of track idea, but on a half mile with a lot more straightaway yeah. and a proper bank corner with a good radius. I think we're yeah, going to see speaking, a really exciting um, race there. Speaking of drivers getting killed, we saw something that uh, we don't see very often. I can't even remember the last time it happened. Kyle Larson. And <laughs> yeah, Justin he Haley with some grade A tenderloins, some high quality beef. He <laughs> just which, cleaned uh, them out, man. 100% Angus. That's an 80 20 if I've ever seen it. Uh, oh, yeah. That golden ratio. Kyle Larson, Larson said, out, nah. man. The thing is, though, I got to give him fucking credit, man. Justin Haley this weekend, like these last two days. He's impressed. Awesome. I was impressed. Really great. Like, college racing and Justin Haley. Like, I, I was like, they're going to do I. Right. But, like, it's Justin Haley. How good could it, how good could it get, you know? And then I was like, damn. <laughs> like, it's, it gets pretty dang good. <laughs> it's really good. So, hopefully, it's not just a flash in the pan. I don't think it will be. Colleague has definitely shown that they're here to play the last yeah, couple of years. And they're only getting Colleague better and good. better and better. So, I think that's going to be an exciting car to watch uh, this they coming just won. season. And on top of that, um, I got to give a quick shout out to Eric Jones. I know he got into it with Brian Blaney there in the later half of that race, but, I mean, what, top five? Would they finish fourth? Finished fourth. He finished fourth. That's pretty dang good. Yeah. I'm impressed. His teammate, on the other hand, who? Oh, man. <laughs> I oh, man. That L. Can, I, can we talk about the LCQ? What the LCQ hell was that two, all about? Man. Oh, my man, God. They were, that thing took like three hours, it felt like. You just kept slamming into each other. I and felt wrecking like we were watching, like, Mad Max or something like Jesus, these guys just killing each other. But it was great. I mean, not for the people in the race, but I was having fun. fun. To watch. I mean, they're oh, like, man, Ty let's, Dillon. let's slam it in here three wide, and then also Ty Dillon's gonna like battery ram the back of him and just send everybody. Like poor Kurt Busch, man, he got he just got murdered. Yeah, he was like a victim <laughs> of everybody else's problem down there. <laughs> yeah. Then Harrison Burton got. From the lead, I think Bob went up from the lead once. Yeah, wrecking from the lead, wreck from the lead. And then all of a sudden, here comes Ryan Priest to just, like, swoop in and steal one for Rick Ware. <laughs> yeah. He shouldn't have even won that, because, but Ty Dillon jumped the restart like a motherfucker. And so, <laughs> How did he jump the them on, that on this one? little track, man? You got, like, a... <laughs> he did it twice. I that was the second time he did it. Yeah, I know. I guess he's the first one. They're like, hey, man, this is a warning. And then after that, they were like, all right, look, man, that's, we got to give you a penalty. They, they put him in the back of the field the so, first time. And then the second one, he did it was like a green-white checkered. So yeah, they, they put him in the back like, of the field. Yeah, just kind of last. Uh, you get a penalty. So, hey, Ryan Priest, man. What a, what a fun Ryan little good LCQ. To, <laughs> he was like a complete what non-factor a... in the actual race. But it was great to see him do good in the LCQ. Yep. It was kind of hard to be a factor, though. If you were outside of, like, the top six you're fighting for your life yeah one guy i want to mention that did really good kevin harvick started like 20th he finished like seventh. yeah he slowly crawled his way through the field like that was impressive considering how hard it was to pass on the track. i mean i'm not saying it was bad i'm just saying the track is very limited in terms of how you can pass somebody you have two options yeah. either they fuck up and you go around them or you fuck them up you and go them. around them you know what i mean like yeah. it was it was <laughs> kill or be killed so um, impressive there. I was impressed with the finish of the race. I really thought Kyle Busch had something for Logano, and then Logano was really just waiting for him. And then when Kyle got close, he just said, "All right, bye." And just gapped him again with six to go. <laughs> you know, I feel like, no, Luka, like Kyle I feel that like that Kyle. Lock it up. I feel yeah, Kyle locking it up. But also, I feel like Kyle. Yeah, he was definitely pushing to catch Logano in the end there. And when Logano like saw that he kind of just let him like he like he let like he kind of backed up to Kyle Bush and let Kyle Bush catch him so that he had mm -hmm. you know he had cars still by just not running 100% and then when Kyle got close and he went okay I don't want to get moved he just put the jets back on and went and finished the race so they obviously figured it out they had the best car in the end of that race by far yeah um and they made it work the 22 and the 18 were the best cars all day oh, those yeah, two were all both day. except flying. for the 8 I'll give the 8 some credit they were really cool the 8 too, was really good but you know Transaxle. I don't know. Wasn't I don't bad know how to the long uh, run. Where Dylan finished, like fourth, three was pretty quick. Somewhere too. up in there in that top five. Maybe third. Nah, he fell out of the top. No, he fell out of the top five. No. He was running up there, though. Let me check. I think he was third, actually. He yeah, no, he was third. third. Yeah, he finished third because I remember yeah. Eric Jones finished fourth. Yeah, Eric Jones and Speaking Kyle. Eric Martin. Jones. Top five. Ryan Blaney. Yeah, Eric yeah Jones. They, got a little, they got a little beef. Got a little beef yeah. going on in the exhibition race. 
<laughs> I thought it was funny in the post race interview when they were talking to Eric Jones and they were like, you know, what's the deal? What's wrong with Ryan Blaney? And he just like says, yeah, you know, he got in there and he just brake checked me. I didn't appreciate that. And they're saying it and it's on the stadium intercom and everybody's still standing in the little infield. And Ryan Blaney's <laughs> car is like the next car over in the shot behind him. So he's just like <laughs> talking shit on the stadium speakers while the car is like right there. And <laughs> I just thought that was really funny. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. like, yeah, he just went in there and brake checked me. And if he wants to talk about it, he can come talk about it. I'm like, dude, he's like right behind you. <laughs> but it's like echoing through the stadium seats, like, because he's on like the stadium microphone. I'm like, everybody's standing right there. I just thought that was really funny. It was really good. Not like he needs to hide oh, anything man. or whatever, because it was very obvious that they were um, disgruntled with each other. But it was just funny to see like the car in the shot and knowing everybody's just standing right there in a little circle. It's like, man. Here's a nice segue Ads. is uh, two drivers who are not disgruntled with each other. This made kind of interesting before the race. We saw uh, as they were getting ready to do driver intros, Kevin Harvick and Chase Elliott kind of talking cordially. Just kind of hanging out. Burying yes. the hatchet Surprise. for 2022. Yeah. Yeah. Lying. Smiles on each other's faces. I mean, what do you think, Vito? What'd you say? I think Kevin Harvick's lying in wait. He's lying in wait. What is he going <laughs> to Bristol he's Spring, evil, and Bristol he's plotting. <laughs> <laughs> he's plotting. He's waiting for Bristol this year. Bristol fall. Elliot's in the wall. Lap two. <laughs> a rattlesnake. Oops. He's just lying. He's waiting in the shadows. He's gonna be like bush and just wreck the shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's the sound Elliot's car is going to make when it hits the wall. It smacks the wall at Daytona. <laughs> Opening gonna practice. Beat him to death with the Hans device. Practice one. Just, just walls him. <laughs> He's going to need to go to his backup car. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We don't have, have any of those. <laughs> Oops. Uh-oh. <laughs> that would mean... Oops. Oh, wait. Yeah, I don't I know. I think by the time we'll we get to Bristol, that. we'll have backup cars, though. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll have cars aplenty. I'm excited. Man, how are they going to pull these things? What are these things going to drive like on dirt for Bristol Spring? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's only been one guy that tested these out on dirt, and I guess it worked out with him. Yeah, it was Stuart Friesen, the truck series. Yeah, Stuart <laughs> Friesen. Because they didn't want to give anybody an advantage. Yeah, but also Stuart was- Friesen is probably one of the best guys to go to if you want somebody with quality dirt knowledge. Yeah. To go drive your car and tell you what he feels like. As a non-cup so, driver way. Yeah, and also, yeah, that a sort of thing. driver. Because, you know, if you're going to go like cup drivers, like, these cars huh? are going to be killer at Coda. That's our first road course. Right? Oh, yeah, they're going to be awesome at Coda. I mean, yeah, like, honestly, just talking about the cars, like, can we all agree that these cars look, they look and sound amazing on track? I ain't even yeah. going to lie. Yeah. They, numbers, look they look beastly and they sound amazing. Like, dude, Logano doing burnouts on the, like, at the end of the race, like, that car awesome. sounds so good. It sounds so good. Yeah, it was um, great that Logano got to do him too because he's like the best at doing burnouts too. He's just Logano yeah, burnouts Logano, are awesome. Yeah, easily the best. Um, what you got? Yeah, the uh, the thing about the uh, the way the forward number looks, I was worried about it at first, but uh, no more. It. Yeah, um, well, I would like to say <laughs> I'm a fan. I said this during the race today. I was like, yeah, the reason people didn't like forward numbers is because they showed it off on an all-black car with just a monster logo. It was on the <laughs> fender, and it was the number one. <laughs> yeah. The worst <laughs> possible way to unveil it. Yeah. Just really, like, bad. Not to mention, it was on a show car, too, so it had, like, an ugly red roll cage in it. Yeah, just... Everything about it was pretty bad the way they unveiled the forward numbers, but they look good. Yeah, they look really good in motion. I think I think with more time, brands will get better at it. You know, like marketing be like, "Oh, look, their car looked cool. We should do our car like that car." And then you know, it'll be like trial by error will eventually lead to some solid schemes with the numbers forward. Telling me brands aren't already good at it with the just add more H's to the end of Bush (laughs) Kevin Harvick. Yeah, exactly. That was awesome. Just that was perfect. Extra boost and more ages. <laughs> I love that. I really like the. Uh, I like that car Almanac was driving around. It was so bright, it looked like a highlight. Yeah, that was a cool one. Any yeah. car that looked bad, and I run. I mean, I, I wouldn't. I don't say like it the bad, the twenty two car driving around looks like yeah. a damn can of Rico's nacho cheese. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, but, they didn't even need to remove those little spike things. Yeah, this, that the yeah. twenty two has had. 
And I'm yeah, assuming all the Penske like I'm assuming all the Penske spike schemes are gonna look it's like, gonna look like, like that Ronald's now. Car. It's really lame. Yeah. Maybe look a Penske out. scheme. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't know. Penske but, doesn't really have exciting paint schemes anyway, except for that two car. That two car was awesome today. <laughs> Other than that, though, I can't really. Oh, yeah, and Ricky Stenhouse. I wasn't a huge fan of that scheme. Yeah, it's just because, I, like, bright red, bright yellow. Weird. Yeah, I can't really think of any schemes that I was unhappy with, or many schemes that I was unhappy with, at least. I thought they all looked pretty good on track. Yeah. They're cool. I like, I just, I just, cars are really cool. I'm a big fan of these cars. I think the biggest issues we're going to see with these cars is the three issues we saw today was overheating, steering column for Denny Hamlin. He said there was steering column issues and the transaxle. Yeah, Which, the transaxle was surprising. Like that just kind of I think, came out of nowhere. To add Could be to because that it's a lot of shifting. Point, like short tracks are going to be weird, but I don't know. I mean, they're not really going to be between. I mean, depending on how they gear them, I don't know how they're going to gear them. This is also new, and I yeah, it's all yeah. New. The one thing brand that does new car teams me, are going to adapt. Um, do we do have two weeks? But I think out of all of that, the biggest concerning issue I would have is the overheating issue because if we go to Daytona and we run in the thirty-five car pack, you're going to get hot really fast. Yeah. So um, yeah, you got to find a heating issue. Maybe everybody's just going to start cars, popping out of the yeah. draft like crazy. Just I think part of it those. might have just been the way they were shifting because there are a lot of guys that were going first, second, first, second, first, second like, most of the race, and those oh, are the guys that ended up getting taken out, like Chase Briscoe. That's he didn't finish the race. A return to old NASCAR cheating traditions. Someone will just find a way to take the fucking hood off a car or something. <laughs> I feel like yeah, just, race. if somebody was it's missing a precaution. <laughs> I want the extra. fucking I want the Andy Petrie deck lid switch. Yeah. Dead. I love the Andy Petrie deck lid switch. I think we should just run them without the, the fucking bodies. spoiler fall over. Just run them without the bodies on them at Daytona. Winner take all. Perfect. Uh, I would say the Clash, huge success at the LA Coliseum. Fucking huge success. Huge success? You think we yeah. see it again? Huge success. You think we think see we it see somewhere it. else? Yeah. Definitely. I think we see it. I think we see it. I think we see it. So I think we see it in LA again, at least for another year. Then they might try some. It's where else could uh, they go? Talks, talks New of, York City. In New York but City. Where in New York? Running in like Rutherford. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I it know. probably like, would be Rutherford. Yeah, the I mean, track right, right by. We're gonna uh, build an oval around three blocks and like center of Manhattan. We're just gonna close down. Bring, uh, we're gonna close oh down Island Times Short Square track. and race. Bring it back. And now on short track, two thousand ten. We, we should build a dirt track in Central Park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's or here in Pacific Northwest, Denver. Why don't they build New it York out City. on the water on like a barge? Yeah. They just make a big barge. My dad works barge. barges. He can do it. He'll make the track by himself. Race in the It'd bay. Be awesome. Racing in the race bay. In the just bay. race in the water. Race on the beach. Yeah. NASCAR can make, boats. make like tires that float. So flying the cars. cars on the, the NASCAR right. flying cars. cars. Oh no, we're back to it. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. The NASCAR flying cars are back. Better I thought that was a pit post. I saw it. Yeah, I didn't think that. I thought it was a slurn tweet. It was real. Yeah, it was a real tweet. <laughs> anyway, we'll get there. Uh, we'll get there. Other That's thing I know. <laughs> overheating for now. But yeah, back Other on the Clash, yeah, what did you get to see? Uh, during the Clash, a lot of commercials featured NASCAR drivers, which is a thing we yeah, haven't I seen a lot recently. Yeah, I noticed that too. I was a very, okay, I, think I wanna, can we, huge advertising can push. we make it, a, can, I'm, a, I'm, I'm really tempted to start, I'm like this close to just going all in on the saving at the pump joke, because I think it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Saving at the pump. We should make there a. Was... We should make it a war. The uh, we... Hendra Tractors commercial with Tony Stewart dumped yeah, the tractor commercial. Frisco. Was uh, the Bubba Wallace DoorDash commercial? Yeah, I really like saving, saving at the pump. Saving at the pump there was wasn't commercials too, like with the whole skit with Clint Boyer, Michael Strahan, and Terry Bradshaw. Yeah. It just it feels God. like we're getting back to an older era of NASCAR. Yeah, it feels very reminiscent of the past where you you know watch the like your Dale Junior ads and your. Dale Earnhardt ads and stuff like that. 
Yeah, exactly. It feels good to learn her garbage in commercials. Joey Logano so saved at the pump. <laughs> saved at the pump. He saved at the pump. <laughs> <laughs> If somebody takes two tires and makes it off pit road, they're saving at the pump. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We should make, we need a save uh, at the pump award every week. Fastest pit stop. Yeah. He saved at the pump. <laughs> saved at the pump. <laughs> saved at the pump. Man, we can make oh this work. God. I don't know. Yeah. NASCAR push, advertising. Let's push this joke into the grave. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> and then yeah, some. Let's just make it the worst thing the ever. Worst joke ever. Forever and ever. <laughs> and ever. And ever. Yeah. Uh, but with that advertising push, NASCAR tried to expand into international markets. That's I would be surprised, though. Not yet. Eventually, within If we keep few going years, the way we're going, maybe. A, a Mexico race, I maybe. think international, quote-unquote, but staying in North America, I think NASCAR needs to go to Canada with the Cup Series. Yeah, yeah, that's on a that's one. I think NASCAR needs to go to plan. Canada. They can go back to Mexico if there's the market there for that. I don't know. Didn't Out SMI have a America. plan to make a Canada track a couple of years ago? I don't know. Like, wasn't that going to be like Canadian Motor Speedway? I'm pretty sure was going to be the thing. I know they have a perfectly awesome road course in Mosport ready to go. Yeah. If they so please. <laughs> the yeah. thing is, though, like to wrapping that point to like today's episode like the clash today the fact that we put a quarter mile dinky like baby park but real life like track yeah. in a college foot granted it's like an you know historic state but a college football stadium okay like we took a football stadium and we built a nascar track in it and we had a race and the track if you just looked at it you would go this would be the worst race ever and it wasn't half bad and it was a really good time yeah. i i mean the the uh, the door's wide open now. Like, that was more people I've seen at the Clash in my entire lifetime. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. uh, on that point, Since I've started watching Azure, I don't think I've ever seen that many people attend the exhibition race. On that point, but it, the market there was very funny to me. I found the people that were there very yeah, funny. Yeah, that was really funny. I had Buddy uh, in his only overalls, just wearing a <laughs> pair of jean overalls, uh, and like then a, you had Valley Girls right next to him, and then you yeah. had, like... Yeah, it was, like, here's, like, some guy that, like, just left the library in his USC shirt next to, like, <laughs> Buddy in his overalls and his cut-off jorts with his cowboy hat <laughs> next to the yeah. Valley Girls, and they're all just, like, standing there, like, got tall boy Cougars light bumping Ice Cube at halftime. Like, what is... What dimension is this? This yeah. is a NASCAR race? What is going on? That was amazing. We're at NASCAR right now. That was now. amazing. I was having... Dude, Ice Cube, man. That was, that was cool. That was Ice Cube was great. Ice, Ice Cube and Pitbull. The only thing is... They both killed it. To me. Are the Valley Girls just there for Ice Cube and Pitbull? Hey, man. Oh, but maybe. they're still there. Well, you know what? But they're, they're still there. there. They paid for animation. USGP, man. That's the strat. People are going to the Formula One race. They didn't care. I mean, they do now because Drive to Survive like gave them the biggest kick in the ass in the world. But like, you know, they could just be like, "Hey, there's a race." Oh, also like Taylor Swift concert, and then it was like, "Bam!" Here's a three hundred thousand people. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> not that many, but you know, the cra that, that should be unveiling. That should be unveiling this year the uh, NASCAR style Drive to Survive series. Yeah, it was in the works with Fox. I don't know. I just speaking the, of the on that, the door is wide open here. We could, yeah, we could see a lot of more. I mean, we got a dirt race last year. We got a new car now. Now we had a damn race in a football stadium. What's next? Where There's could we go from here? The, the, um, the, people, the people that showed up, I, I saw the worst thing I've ever seen on Instagram is uh, Kyle Bush posted a picture of him shaking hands with the D'Amelio sisters. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. NASCAR. <laughs> what a win. We're really getting there, huh? <laughs> what a world we live in, dude. Kyle Bush. Well, and it's the, better than Speedo Kyle Bush. Speedo uh, Kyle Bush. Talk about we could that. bring back Speedo Kyle Bush. It's not. Do we want to, though? Did you hear Kyle nah. Bush's interview and he was like, Yeah, man, I was trying to match my son. He won yesterday. And, you know, he wins yeah. more than me these days, so we should just, we should just, somebody send him a contract. I thought that was really funny. Yeah, I thought that was funny. Good old Kyle. I like Kyle Bush. Kyle Bush, Fun. man. What a guy. Fun guy. 
Well, Man. what else we got? Cal. Anybody got anything else you want to add? I mean, it's. Uh, I hate to just you know tonight. Tonight's stream's been a little bit off the rails because it was just like we had this little dinky exhibition race and. There's there wasn't a whole lot of big about. plot lines, you know. There's no points race. There's no playoff watch. There's no. There was no pit strategy. It was just go and do the best you can. Try to win. Don't get killed. Basically, yeah. kill or be killed. Lap traffic was crazy. Um, I thought. Yeah. I think just, my favorite thing about the whole day was probably um, Ty Dillon catching a case of vicarism. That was really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shades of old. It's like the ten year anniversary of Brian Vickers Martinsville tirade and the forty two car did not disappoint. <laughs> yeah. Decade of destruction tour. Took out like five cars. At I... least five cars. I think he hit <laughs> I think he hit every car on track in his LCQ at least once. Yeah. Like everything but the pace car got smacked by the forty two at one point. But hey man, somebody's gotta be a loose cannon. It makes it fun. It was really fun. It was like, it was look really at this fun. deranged psychopath with a front bumper of doom. Like that was, it was cool. Look at me. Look at me. Oh man. You may be able to see a lot more of those front bumpers of doom with the composite bodies. Yeah. Again, these things can take a beating now. These things, yeah, they're not I mean, like they oh, they a beat today. We weren't, we weren't at high Fuck speed you. though. But still, I don't. I mean, if you're high speed, like trying to, yeah, this is gonna be a crash. But like, you know, you get what I'm saying, like. I don't think we're going to see a car. I think we can see two guys door each other down the front straight at Charlotte and not have a tire rub and ruin their race. Yeah, exactly. Like you were just saying, you know? We say these things can take a beating, but then watch. that fucking Daytona in two weeks. One's going to hit 120, and the car will literally disintegrate. (laughs) (laughs) Once you hit 200 miles an hour in the next gen, all all four wheels just fall off the car. Yeah, all four wheels fall off, and it explodes. (laughs) All of the fenders fall off. You do not pass go. You do not collect two hundred dollars. Go home. Good time. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we'll have a lot more to talk about when the five hundred's yeah, over, because then the up. season's actually on. Two weeks. Season will be on. Yeah. Y'all got any uh, uh, anything to send us home with for Daytona, or we're gonna save that for the party time. Moist. Time. Moist. Thanks, Adrian. Thanks, Adrian. Adrian. All right. Well, um, I guess that's tonight's show. Short and sweet. Uh, just like that yeah. little racetrack was in California. And we'll be moving like Tyler on down Reddick to Florida. He's five foot five shrimp <laughs> ass. Dude. <laughs> Damn, yeah, call his ass out. <laughs> Un- unwarranted fucking hostility in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good now. <laughs> I think that'll, that'll yeah, yeah, you know what? That'll send us home. That'll wrap us up, guys. All um, right. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night everybody. Good night. We'll see you Later. in Daytona for the 500. Till yeah. then, we're Spin yeah. Tunnel. You're not. Bye. Cheers.